happy Friday! You know what? I just finished one of the last things that I have to do as a foreigner. So today I came to the bureau. If you guys ever come to the bureau, you can just drop yourself off at Yingchun Road Station on Line 18 and you can take exit 4 and then you can just walk across the road straight and then you will see the bureau on the left hand side of you. So what did I do today? So I just moved to my new apartment and after I moved to my new apartment, I will need to do the address modification. It's more like an address registration in the system. So I have to present myself here at the bureau. But everything is so easy for me because my company is supporting everything. I'm trying to cross the road. Let me cross the road first. <laughs> Counting down. Okay. All right. So I just cross the road. So actually my company just help me with everything so with the agency and stuff I don't have to do anything regarding the documentation I just have to bring two things my passport and my temporary residence form that's it and then I just come here to take a photo and then some signatures and it's done okay so now let's go back home and I got some celebration to do today let's see what it is And another reason to be really happy today is because I already got my bank account and I connect my bank account to my WeChat Pay and now I am no longer have to collect all those cash anymore so right now I can just order the food from the table sitting here doesn't have to talk to anyone pay for the food wear my mobile phone and just waiting happily on my table for the food this is another reason that I am super happy you know what after almost two months let's say one and a half months that I arrived in Shanghai I just got my bank account can you imagine just for the recommendation I think it is very important for you as a foreigner if you decided to come to China bring a lot of cash because it will take some time for you to get the bank account it's not easy it's time consuming but now I'm super happy I got my WeChat pay on my hand I am on the top of the world I can do anything Today we are going to somewhere really special in order to celebrate the completion of my bank account and also the completion of address registration. So yeah, stay tuned. Alright guys, we are ready to go outside and today I will bring you to Shanghai Cruise. Is this the best time to go for a cruise? It's the night time because we can enjoy these beautiful lights. I'm so excited. Let's go. now at New York metro station on line 10. For me personally, I think this station is really fancy. It looks really beautiful. And we are here again guys. And I think that is the place we are looking for, right? I can see the boat sign. <laughs> Basically, it costs you 120 RMB to come up here. And in the boat, there are basically three floors. First floor, second floor, and third floor. The first floor and second floor is just indoor. You have to sit indoor. It's warm, it's good, but it's not that clear to look at the view. But if you come to the rooftop, I am highly recommended because you can see the view like it's spectacular, it's beautiful, it's so crystal clear and I will just take you around just to see together.
morning guys today I am standing right in front of Wukang building or Wukang mansion this place is a really famous place it looks really photogenic this place doesn't remind me of Asian country at all it looks like France or somewhere this is in European country it is something that is so amazing I couldn't believe that this kind of place would be situated in Shanghai I was just search on the internet also why is this building so important and why is it so famous and then I will just give a description for you guys Welcome to a special part of this video, learning new things with Fan Fancy. The Wukang building is a protected historic apartment building in the former French concession area of Shanghai. It was designed and completed in 1924. It is located at the southern end of Wukang Road in Shanghai's Chuhui district. It is in the western part of the former French concession area of the city. The eight-story building is in the French Renaissance style and is the oldest veranda style apartment building in Shanghai. The building looks like a ship from one direction. The unusual wedge shape of the building is reminiscent of the flat iron building in New York. that I come in this area is because I would like to bring you guys to one cute ice cream shop. I searched it on the application called Xiao Hongshu and the ice cream cone is looking so 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 cute. So I'm just going to bring you guys that with me. I haven't had breakfast yet but I just want to have ice cream for breakfast. Is that okay? across this tulip flower it is so cute look at the color it's so fresh it's so bright and it's real you know in Thailand it's very difficult to find these beautiful tulips because these tulips we normally grow in winter we don't have this in Thailand so I'm so excited the color is so beautiful and fresh and I just took a selfie with the tulip here's the photo <laughs> and guys, mission accomplished. Look at these, so cute. Happy tummy, happy fancy on Saturday morning. Yay! <laughs> guys and how did I know about this cute gelato shop basically I would like to recommend one application called Xiao Hong Chu if you want to translate this into English the meaning is little red book and basically this application is similar to Instagram it is the place where people just post some photo some short videos on the platform so I just basically downloaded from App Store the reason that I choose Chiu Hongshu is because I think in Chiu Hongshu is this it is just like Instagram you know if you go into that application you will know where the locals are going if you just search on Google let's say top attractions in Shanghai or something you might be able to see only some famous places that a foreigner would like to go like for example the Ban Xin Tian Di Ho Jing An Temple but I would like to search for something that is more localized something that is more hidden like I would like to call it a hidden gem in Shanghai so I would like to recommend you guys so if you live here in China I think this application is also a really useful application so yeah just download Xiao Hongshu and you will be able to find this amazing place that I already found to say goodbye i am going home now if you like this video don't forget to give a like button and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button and become a fun fancy family i will see you guys in my next video bye